Hello, welcome back for more Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're just gonna hop straight into it, as usual, looking at what quests we left off on. I know a lot of people were talking to us at the end. Um, okay, the usual, those ones, I'm just gonna do it as we find it. Okay, we could go talk to Poppy because we did do that last time. Let's go talk to Poppy. I don't know, I'm kinda curious what's going down. Okay, what? Oh. Well, apparently there's a side quest here. What is- what is going on? Hi, Poppy. Give me like two seconds. I'm curious. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbors aren't harmed. Crispin. Excuse me, sir. Are you alright? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should... Oh. Are you afraid of spiders? How? How does every dang episode... I have to deal with spiders now. <sighs> okay, just for the sake of the game, I'm gonna lie. Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. No kidding. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Oh. Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. Mm. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. <sighs> Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch <sighs> of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now, just talking about it. Gross. <sighs> Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tried Minister Spout old Spavin himself. Oh. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. Oh boy, okay. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Can I bring somebody else? Can I make, like... <laughs> okay, Poppy, I guess you're gonna have to wait. One of these days, I have to get rid of the spiders. Like, there, it's gotta end eventually, right? This must be Aaron Shear. My best <gasps> Okay, um, yep, yep, that's a lot. We are gonna attack this a little differently. Okay, what's the best way to get in here without, like, we're just gonna... Whoa, 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 no. We are gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna casually walk in. Hey, guys. Oh... Did I do it? Okay, I did it. Ooh. Did I kill all of them? That's the last of them. Probably not. It never is. Pleasure to see you again. Can't tell you how happy my lost daughter was to get that watch. 
There is no one here. The absconder assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable thing you did there, to be the least. I literally was here last episode, wasn't I? Like, this is where... Yeah, because he's the whole reason I had to fight spiders last time. Oh my god, I'm gonna go in here and there's gonna be a spider in the house, isn't there? Oh no, this must be Mary. <gasps> Poor woman. No way. Are you alive? I have delivered the spider venom as requested. Prompt payment is now due. The new cluster of spiderlings in my cellar workshop have almost hatched. I can provide more venom soon. Once, of course, I have been compensated for the last delivery. Mary Portman. Wait, what? If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. <laughs> I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Girl, why are you breeding spiders? There is no dang reason for you to be doing all that. Look what you did. You see where this got you? Jeez Louise, why, why? Why do I get myself into this mess? <sighs> this is gonna suck. Search for the nest. Oh no. This is where Mary okay. Yeah, so they're gonna be somewhere. Obviously the game's not just gonna let me go through this whole cellar without seeing a spider. You're telling me Miss Girl thought it was a good idea to breed spiders? Spiders. She had a cellar full of spiders. Not just any spider, giant spiders. Like, is she good? Is she okay? Well, clearly she wasn't okay because she kind of is a little wrapped up at the- <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know where this leads. That was disgusting. That was awful. There better be some dang good oh, surprise in here. Good These spiders have gone somewhere. Ew. Ew. Oh my god. You guys are gonna get fed up hearing me want to die from these spiders. I don't have any more Wigan World either. Oh, I can't- oh, I can't get down the stairs with the sign. Hello? Wait, I actually can't get down the stairs. <laughs> Best be ready for whatever I may find down there. I'm not. I'm literally not at all. Not even the slightest bit. Oh my god, it's probably gonna be a hu- huh? This is probably gonna be huge! I'm gonna die. I don't have enough health for this. Egg sucks. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I should get the rest. Okay. It's fine. I just can't let them touch me. If I don't let them touch me, it'll be okay. I let them touch me. <laughs> I clicked out of the game. I always click out of the dang game. I always click out of the dang game. I always click out of the dang game. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to spiders. Ah. Oh no. Eight legs is. Did I do it? No, I've only done three. Well, this isn't ideal. Not ideal at all, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it just came down from the dang ceiling. Are you dead? 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 Can you please disappear if you're dead? <sighs> He's dead. Okay, we're good. I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. <gasps> Why did you have to say that? Why did you have to say that? Girl, you're not supposed to make this harder than it already is. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh 
Okay. Ah! Okay, pop off. Pop off, I did it. I'm- I'm doing it. Well, so far, I'm managing this better than I anticipated. So that's good. I don't know how I'm managing to do this with as little health as I have. Usually I go into these having like 14 Wigan Welds and I got a ripe zero. This music is going nuts. It needs to chill out. It's stressing me out. Oh, 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 oh. There's one right by me. There's one right by me. Get up! Oh my god, get up. Get up! Move! Okay, one of them's- Oh, oh my god, okay. Ooh. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna let my health refill. <laughs> if I genuinely manage to do this, I am gonna be shocked and we are immediately going to the room, whatever room of requirement, and making some dang wig and weld. Oh, that's the last of the spider sacks. Okay. Oh, I finally found the perfect place to breed my spider colony and it was quite literally under my nose the whole time. My cellar. Why didn't I think of this before? Why hasn't anyone for that matter? Um, maybe because most people don't want to raise spiders. Hmm? My spiders are growing big and strong and the silk they produce will make me a fortune. I have- I'll have wealth at least. No more scrimping on frocks when I'm in town. I'll be marvelous. I yeah. suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. Girly. She was breeding the spiders. Yeah, and I'm thinking you're stupid and it, w it is not worth it. It really is not worth it. Oh, wait, what? I hope that's the last one. Ah, 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 ah. ah! Oh, well, I'm about to die now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pop off. Yes! Okay, we might be able to do this now. Oh my god, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I get all of them? Please. Okay. I feel like that's unfortunately not the last of them. I also haven't even gone this way yet, so... <laughs> Why? There was no purpose to do that to me. The sooner we do it, the sooner it can get over. Source of the eggs. Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's gonna be another one of the freaking giant ones. I swear, if I get this far, I'm managing to do it, and then I die now because it's the most giant spider in my life. Oh! That's the last one. And she's angry. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm clicking it. I swear to God, this game makes me so mad sometimes. Okay, well, I got the big one. Uh-huh, me too, girl. Oh my god, did I do it? Did I actually do that? I did it. No way. No way. I'm so proud of myself. I did that entire thing without dying. I don't think that has ever happened. Um, we are gonna go talk to this dude, and we are immediately going to go brew more Wigan Well Potion, like I said, because I am not living my life on the edge like this. <laughs> so is she just dead now? Like, her spiders wrapped her up and that's just, that's the end of it? <laughs> Yay! Okay, so is like, are they popping off again and everything's fine? 
Yippee. Creepy ghost man is now back. I think. Oh. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, sir. You better pay me good for this. Okay. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. Mary's reason happened. Okay, well, saying she was a victim of her own greed makes me sound mean, so I'm just... Hmm. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble mm -hmm. sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Uh -huh. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it. But I'm certainly relieved. It wasn't fun. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help. And I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. Yay. To dearly departed Mary. Yeah, can that be enough spiders, please? Okay, well, hey, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. Baffled. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Okay. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Girl, you and me both are wondering the same thing, but like, I guess I'm just that cool. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. You know, ironically... I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay, dope. I think I trust her with my secret more than I trust Sebastian. <laughs> taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Thanks. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to take this free moment to go back and brew my potions. Okay, this is now my new Wigan Well potion brewing station. I used one of each, because why not? And look at that. Now, by the time I get one, I have the others. You know, I really don't know why I use one of each, because, like, it kind of would look better if I just used the same one, but it's fun. Okay, I now have 20 Wigan Weld potions. I think that's a lot better than zero. So, now we're going to continue on with uh, the original plan. <laughs> we might as well go talk to Natty. So frustrating. Oh. Uh oh I didn't realize they were just going to be right here. <laughs> You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that oh. you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. 
I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother... Oh. My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Why do I always have to do this? So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. Whoa. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. She's Louise, I didn't expect that. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. What? Then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Okay. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Interesting. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being oh, oh. able to view the world from a different perspective. That, that actually is really cool. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. I get it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so Ooh. prevalent. I didn't think about that. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form, but she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Uh, um, this is a bit of a tricky one. I have a feeling that because they mentioned it, something would happen to her in her gazelle form. I'm a little worried that if I say that, she's going to be like, oh my god, you're also holding me back. But like, uh, her mother's the professor for a reason. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I <sighs> choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> my mother cannot know where I am all the time. Oh my god. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, that was awkward. For me, I am nervous now that something's gonna happen to her and... <sighs> Technically, I did try. So at this point, I have a feeling that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. That it's supposed to, you know? Okay, well, that leaves Sebastian left to talk to. And then once we talk to Sebastian, I vote we go and try and work on the professor assignments. Thor is very snazzy looking. I forgot it looked like that. <laughs> okay, aggressive. Sebastian! I'm here! Oh, hey! You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Mm -hmm. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Oh. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary. 
not to fear it. Okay. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Uh, I don't necessarily regret it because, like, ooh, that sounded kind of bad. <laughs> Just because we technically used it to solve and figure out what actually happened, and then it showed us what happened to Ominous's aunt, right? But I, I don't know if I would. Obviously, like if some man was coming at me and trying to kill me, right? I'm probably gonna cast what I can. <laughs> but I don't think I would try and use it. You know, I guess we'll see. <laughs> it was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because oh. in the spellbook, I also found something else. I wouldn't say I'm glad. References I can hurt. to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. Oh boy. And do you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. This is gonna come back to bite us. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Yay! And don't feel sorry for Ominous. <sighs> Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I do agree. I'll decide what's oh. for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to <gasps> join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. Oh. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not what letting is... this go. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous is over here grumbling, mumbling, and Sebastian just busted busted through a table in pots. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Oh. Wait, what? What happened? I knew his parents died. But I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Oh? Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. And those was buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents what? had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. Aww. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I do think the spell book is concerning. So... Mm. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. Let's be real here, bro. We both know he's gonna. It would mean a lot. Like, it's Sebastian we're talking about. He always is doing something funky. I'm always doing something funky, I guess, so... Um, I guess I didn't go busting through the table. Okay, well... Oh, no. Oh no, he's waiting. Oh no. Oh. It's fine, he wasn't meant to be. Woo! <laughs> I was like, you're gonna make me talk to him already? Okay, anywho, now we're gonna go and do the Professor stuff. Okay, let's try the Professor Weasley one and see if it actually tells me where these are. So far, it's looking like it is. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. Okay, I'm gonna be real here. I'm starting to like Ominous a little bit more than Sebastian. I never thought I'd say that, but... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what to do with these thingies on this bridge. So if anyone can tell me how to do that one, please let me know. Otherwise, eventually, I'm probably gonna have to look it up. I am not a puzzle person, which I'm sure you guys have realized by now. Okay, where does this go? Oh! Okay. 
Okay. Mysterious. I don't think I've ever been here yet. So this is the underground harbor. Ooh. Aha. Okay. We got that one. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes. What do you know about it? Professor Weasley asked me to uh get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering oh. a few questions from my quiz. Oh my god. Quiz. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Are you for real? <sighs> that quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. I just needed the dang Before book. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Girl, I don't know. The golden snidget. <laughs> oh my god, I just googled it. It actually is the golden snidget. <laughs> the golden snidget. Correct! The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Isn't it the this one, Felix Felicius or whatever? I think. Felix Felicis. Well done. Ah. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. Oh, yeah. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Mm. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. Oof. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? I'm gonna go with the Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Um, I don't... I don't think so. False. Correct. <laughs> While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long oh, enough. Oh, goodness gracious, okay. I'll put the Oof. book back on the pedestal now. If you're Hallelujah. inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. I'm okay. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Okay, bye. I don't have time <laughs> for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put yeah. the book back on the pedestal for you. Thanks, girl. I you ought to make quick work of this. Want to test your knowledge on some no, more difficult questions? No, I don't. I don't. I just wanted to... I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Turn around. Just wanted the dang field guide. Are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. <sighs> Hi. Can I not just wait? It always lets me. Oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak Hello, in. Amora. Oh, dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may both be interested and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their owls will provide confirmation of the letter of the latter. But equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spavin, Minister for Magic, London. Okay. Hey, y'all. Don't mind me. Just took a nap overnight. Oh, hey, Sebastian. <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> of course, Poppy. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost 
anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. A butterfly. Now, you all know what to do. Do I? <laughs> Sebastian's like, um... Oh, say less. Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So am I going to be able to transform people into stuff? <gasps> Yay! Oh, maybe. Is that a moth? It might have been a moth. Ooh. One of, them's, done. one of them's going to turn into something weird, isn't it? Oh, that's disappointing. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Rebellion. Oh. Ah. What well, are you good, dude? <laughs> hey. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thanks. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Is that hard? Such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Uh oh. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected oh. in any way to Professor Fig? Oh no. I feel like I need to say no. Not at all. I was uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Okay. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Say less. So you can turn people into stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh. oh, let's try it. Ah. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. It's a barrel. Okay, now... Oh. Since our visit to Felcon. I don't know why he got so quiet, but... But I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there. Bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Oh. I remember Almeed mentioning something about gobbledygook. Oh, okay. I guess we're bringing those people. What is this? Okay, wait, okay. Let's let's do a little recap here. So, we still have to do Professor Howen's assignment. Is it gonna tell me where those are? Uh, let's try. Okay, well, I'm assuming... Oh, no. Not another one of these. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I guess. I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. More. Oh. Oh shoot. What a remarkable shot. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Oh, bad. Okay. I thought I want to get over that. 
Oh, you suck. You think I can do it again? Uh-oh. Hmm. Please don't knock me off. Phew. You didn't see that. <laughs> okay. So, I already won, so that's cool. Oh, shoot. Well, it's a good thing I already won, because I don't know how I did that the first time. <laughs> well, it appears I've been bested. Ha <laughs> ha. Well done. Diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. I try. You played a good game, though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Okay, let's see if we can gather the- Oh, they're probably just these. Oh, I grabbed the wrong dang one. <gasps> what is happening? What is happening? Since when do you come out? Ah. I got it. I did it. Yay! Everything's all right now. Okay, got one. Let me up. And it's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Wait, I outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I thought he was already asking me to do something. Hold on. Now do I have two of those? Yeah. There is two now. Okay. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Okay. Okay, I don't know what I just ran into, but I kind of don't want to deal with it yet. It's one of these, and I just... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna take my little broom. And we're gonna go and get the last animal and then we animal no the last beast and we'll come and tackle that another day <laughs> oh this is like swampy i remember these dudes being annoying why is there so dang many oh my god and now you guys are here Ow. Jesus. Why are there so many things here? Okay, great. So now I got those. Great. Now, can that please be the last ones? Okay, where is this dang? Ah, ha, ha. Yay, I got one. Okay. <gasps> of course, Poppy is just all up in there. <gasps> A dragon. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Okay. <sighs> I take it you're ready to learn your- I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. Deal. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Will do. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Did it. Yippee. Well done. Now. Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go Try it on the pumpkins. The pumpkins. Oh. 
cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in hey. control. Okay, that was pretty sick. Well, <laughs> what did that leave us off with? I'm thinking we leave it here. We did, I don't know, a decent amount. We talked to all the people we needed to. And of course, as usual, they got back to us and gave us another quest. So we're almost done with the keys. I think, hold on, how many do I have? You know what, actually, before we go, let's actually run and turn in those we have. Okay, I don't remember how many I have. One, two, three, so we have three left. So yeah, we have a lot to do next time. <laughs> I'm assuming we're definitely going to finish the dragon thing, I think, next episode. I'm assuming that's out to the end. I don't know. We'll figure out what we want to do then when it's, you know, time for that. Yeah, I think we did a decent amount tonight. We, tonight. Oh, I didn't realize that was right there. We talked to Sebastian, dealt with the whole ominous and him thing, talked to Poppy, did that weird spider quest, and then both of the professor assignments. I did run into some funky stuff today, but honestly, I wasn't going to worry about it. Well, I'll run into that another time and we'll deal with it then. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye.